Hello YouTube and welcome to vlog number 21 on you. Okay, yeah, let me try that again. On our duo Yoonscape, Runescape, Yoonscape, YouTube. Is that a ghost? There's a ghost over there. Hello everybody and welcome to our 21st vlog on Shoot Norian Pro's Runescape Duo YouTube channel. Hiya. Uh, it is June 14th, and our last vlog was about a month ago, uh, maybe a little more now, but that's only, you know, natural considering we're college students now and have been playing RuneScape for quite a while. Um, but now you should be able to tell where I am. I like to, you know, give you a new, a look, a new look into the eyes of the way I'd like to see RuneScape through... The orb of Oculus, which is helpful. I mean, you just don't really take it, you know, pay attention to the details. You know, seeing me, uh, me at least, having grown up with RuneScape since 2004 when we all, when we first started in seventh grade, um, it's come a heck of a long way and it's just, it's just nice to see, you know, stuff a different way sometimes so here you go giving you a little look around of right south west of Damonheim and over here we have Thok and the ever elusive Dungeoneering Cape yes as a matter of fact actually uh, Shooter and I have been doing what we hate most uh, which would be Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering. And, uh, we've been doing pretty dang good at it, I think. <clears throat> it, I've grown to like it, unfortunately, a little bit more than I used to. And so, you know, if you get better at it, 83 uh, Dungeoneering at the moment. I actually have 12k to go to 84, but it doesn't matter too much because, you know, 84 doesn't unlock a new level. Uh, it's 85 that does. And I'm going to get to 85 anyway. And then I'll be able to do Frost Dragons. Heck yes. Frost Dragons. And after that, I guess, it'll be onwards to 95 prayer. Not to mention, though, give you a little sneak peek, Chaotix. Uh, we've been working on Chaotix for a while. And as you can see, uh, I can actually buy Chaotix right now. Chaotic Longsword. Is what I'm going to go for. Um, here's a little, here's just a little uh, thing, a little uh, I don't know, some wisdom or something to think about when you think about the Catic Rapier and the Catic Longsword. Recently, I think that most people have been going for the Rapier because they've, because everybody does it now. I'm not, you know, I guess Rapiers are cool and everything. Um, personally, I'm a shooter on this one. Uh, he says that you know why, why the heck do they call it? A rapier. I mean, I agree with this as well. If the rapier is basically just like a short sword, uh, why not call it a chaotic short sword? Because why would they switch? Why would they switch it up right here? I mean, we have a chaotic long sword. Why not have a chaotic short sword? Or at least change all of what our stupid short swords to rapiers. I don't get it either. But in any case, uh, the differences between the chaotic rapier and the chaotic long sword. Um, <coughs> the chaotic rapier. First of all, uh, has three game ticks to the four that the Chaotic Longsword takes to attack. That means that in 12 game ticks, which is 0.6 seconds times 12. Here, I'll try to get that out for you a second. Uh, in 7.2 seconds, uh, is that's how the game runs. Sorry, that's just that's all I can really explain that. Uh, the Chaotic Rapper will hit four times, and the Chaotic Longsword will hit three. 7.2 seconds, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. I'm, that's how it works. Um, so basically, they're saying is, since the Chaotic Longsword only has um, you know, a minimal amount of damage above the Rapier, that the Rapier is better, because overall, it's going to hit more. Now, I've heard arguments both ways, and... Recently, I was introduced to an intriguing one by Garrett uh, Shooter himself. 
I forget the name of the the guy who does the video, but he 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 says that you know basically, uh, the cat the chaotic raptor is great, the chaotic longsword is great. He has both of them and he loves them both, and that's exactly what would happen to me. I mean, I plan on getting you know a bunch of chaotics. I don't know about you. I'll probably go for the crossbow before I go for a rapier, uh, after my longsword. But basically, I just the longsword to me has more accuracy. Uh, accuracy it does so. I think that the Catech Longsword will come through when you need it to hit the most. The Raptor might not. And it's still kind of funny to me that the Catech Longsword actually has more of a stab attack than the Rapier, rapier even though the Rapier is supposed to be, you know, the basically uh, the stab weapon, but whatever. I don't, I don't know how they do all that. But in all honesty, uh, I'm not going to argue about which one to get. Uh, I'm just going to get the Catech Longsword because... You know, first of all, I like longswords. I've always have. It's like been the default weapon. It was like, yeah, I got a rune longsword now. I've been training on cows and then those level, what, 9 or level 19 uh, palace guards forever. And now I got this rune longsword and I feel so awesome. It was a great feeling. Um, maybe eventually I'll get the Catech Maul. The shields would be really nice as well. They are actually, you know, pretty, pretty sweet looking. Uh, some of the scrolls, the Augury prayer would be nice. Um... Just a bunch of this stuff would be nice. A bone, bone crusher eventually and whatnot. I don't think I'll ever need, need have need for the Chaotic Staff, but you never know. A uh, Ring of Vigor. That would be nice. Um, item produces a 3 plus strength bonus and uh, reduces the cost of any weapon special attack by 10%, which is really nice. I mean, it's the weapon special attack, right? So, uh, say you have claws on, it's got a 50%. What uh, special attack? That means it's going to cost you forty percent special attack. Basically, if you have you know uh, spec restores, which I have ten thousand of, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, you know you're going to get three dread D claw specs in to when you would normally have only two, and then some even. You would have eighty percent if you use some spec restores. I forget how much it heals. Thirty five percent or something. I don't remember. Uh, maybe less, but in any case, that would be nice to have, and it doesn't degrade as well. Uh, that's the one thing I do not like about Cadex is the fact that it does degrade. But you know, we're used to that with Borrow's armor now. So, I mean, 50%, Carol's 50, 75, Helm is still at 100. Lucky me. But you know, in any case, uh, that is that. So we're going to uh, Shooter will be on tonight, and we've been doing this lately. Sorry, we have not had so many videos lately uh, we have been pretty busy but as you can see I hope you like the uh, new look of our channel if you are not seeing this on the channel go check it out uh, and leave a comment on our channel page if you like it or not uh, it's just something new I'm trying I hope it's cool I made it myself uh, with GIMP actually so I thought it was pretty cool um, in any case that's that, um, soon I, I probably won't put an intro to this video because I'm working on a new intro to our videos and it'll be shorter and probably and hopefully a lot cooler so I hope you enjoy that. If you have any comments about what type of intro you think is best, you know, just words like a big, a big block of shoot Norman pro coming at you and then it goes BAM or something and smashes through glass or catches on fire or explodes into a fireball, I don't care. Or, you know, I, I've, I've always liked the idea of actually using, you know, RuneScape graphics in an intro because, come on, this is a, this is a RuneScape channel. Uh, so, it's fun to do and I, and I like the graphics. I mean, I mean, it's just fun. I mean, look at this. I'll come here. I'm going to pull this out again. Uh, got the Orb of Oculus. Just using this thing. And, uh, I use this thing a lot, so I, I get pretty used to it. But, I mean, just coming and looking at people, I mean... RuneScape characters... I didn't I don't know if you didn't knew this or not. We didn't used to have eyes. Um, <laughs> we didn't really. And then we had little black dots as for eyes. And uh, that's kind of an improvement for this. This is my character. I just changed my clothes because I like the little feather. I don't know why. Uh, there looks like they're going to go on some Dungeoneering... That's the uh, staff for um, Pyramid Plunder, I think. Pharaoh Scepter, probably. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, Orba Oculus. It's cool to, to look at. I hope you've seen it in our videos and you enjoy it sometimes. 
But that's about all I had to say for about Dungeoneering. He'll, Shooter will be on tonight. He's a, about four dungeons away from 80 Dungeoneering. Uh, actually, yeah, that is why, if you're wondering, why I don't have Chaotix right now is because um, I'm waiting to get it for, with him because, you know, we're a duo. So we're going to do it. We're going to do everything together. Uh, this is how we play this game. I mean, I wouldn't be playing this game if he didn't, really. I, you know, it's just not fun that way. So I really make amend finding someone, you know, people that you like to play it with. And that, for me, is the point of it is to, uh, you know, share it with people. But in any case, uh, he'll be getting probably, hopefully, 80 tonight. Um, I think. Here, one second. I'm going to look him up real quickly. Ah, yeah, he's 18.8k uh, away from... 79 and then you know that's not too bad not too far away from 80 and then so i i reckon he's you know no more than 10 dungeons away from uh 10 or 11 at most away from chaotix with me because he'll, he'll get 80 but we also did herblore remember 92 herblore um so we did buy that uh orb of oculus um, he, we did buy that scroll, the permanent one that lets you save your secondary ingredients on Herboy, and it's really helpful. Um, it gives you a cinematic view. Great for videos. In any case, uh, sorry, I, I do talk when I type sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh, doing a vlog at the moment. Laugh out loud. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I think it's funny how I do that, you know, LOL. Laugh out loud. Because I don't ever actually laugh out loud. Jeez. No, who actually laughs out loud is when they lol. In any case, so that's, the, that's that for Dungeoneering. Uh, after that, we're going to have our um, Chaotix definitely this week. Then uh, some of our main goals, uh, besides... Uh, 70 plus skills at least and a bunch of skills um, as you can see I'll need to get five levels agility um, 10 levels in thieving seven levels in crafting six levels in fire making 13 levels in fletching um, if you're wondering you know I wasn't a member when fletching when everybody you know did fletching so there's no point to it when I did become a member really uh, I'll <laughs> dang it, need to gain 19 levels in rune crafting Nine levels in construction, and that is it. That's all I need to be doing. Anything in my notes? So, uh, yeah, I'll be wanting to do Zogre Flesh Eaters. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's the CC. We were doing a uh, Corporal Beast a while ago, and then we decided, hey, we're gonna go get Chaotix and become an awesome duo team. So that's our plan. Um, we're gonna try to get 70 for Dungeoning, 70 plus, and because it's always been a goal of mine, um, prayer 95. Going for 95 prayer. Um, it would be really nice for to have turmoils and, uh, you know, that sucks. Wasting a full day. That, that I, you know, I do have my grievances about dungeoneering. I would really wish that I could just go in and get the same experience as, as uh, five people, you know, in a complexity six dungeon. But I just can't, so I have to deal with it and hope I get some good teams. That's why I host my own teams a lot. Uh, Shooter and I are actually. You know, playing with the idea of playing with the idea of getting making our own dungeoneering uh, clan. We don't have a clan right now, just because we don't really, you know, we didn't want to be a clan and then not get on for a while and stuff like that. So interesting, weird. In any case, um, yeah, that. So we're thinking about making Dungeoneering Clan. Uh, we do have Skype, so we kind of want a Skype team to put together, you know, uh, so we can talk. It's a lot more fun. That's how we do. We've gotten through. We've gotten through it a lot. Uh, we Skype together and then you know have fun doing dungeons, and you can laugh at the other <laughs> new people that don't know what the heck they're doing in there. Uh. I could tell you a funny story, but Shooter would be better telling it, so I won't. Um, in any case, it just involves me and Alters and Engineering. 
So that's about it. I don't think uh, it'll be nine to five prayer. I'll have chaotix. Then we're gonna get uh, use all my to charms. Get up to pa uh, at least unicorns, and we'll be practically set for doing some awesome duo stuff. Uh, after that, I'll be 150 or 147k away. 147 tokens. 147k tokens away from a crossbow cat crossbow and then I'll probably go and do some necks after I get these uh, 70 levels for because I've never actually been to Sarah Diamond God Wars which is really kind of depressing but I'll get 70 to agility I'll do it it's not that bad not that bad at least so that's about it uh, we we're here we'll be making some pretty epic videos I hope and uh that's about it. Um, that's our goals. This is an update. This is a vlog, not an update. And peace, yo.